The routing section in Mix Control is where you can route your various audio sources to the physical outputs on your interface. The routing presets available in Mix Control are a good place to start if you're unsure of what to do here. Clear will eliminate any routing and turn off every output. Notice that it will also deselect all the output destination selections from the output channel. DAW tracking is designed to send your stereo bus from your DAW to each of the analog outputs on your interface. Ultra low latency tracking works similarly to DAW tracking, but instead of your DAW master bus, it sends your mix control output channel to the outputs. This allows you to monitor latency free as your signal will not be going through your DAW, which adds additional latency. The downside to this is you cannot monitor with any kind of effects, such as reverb or delay. If you need a click track or backing tracks, you can always route those channels through mix control via one of your DAW outputs. The mixing preset sends individual outputs from your DAW to the physical outputs on your interface. This is useful if you want to send each channel to an analog mixer to do your mixing. Each analog output on your interface will be occupied by an output from your DAW, and any additional DAW tracks can be sent through the ADAT and SPDIF out if they are available. Loopback is only available to the Sapphire line of interfaces. This allows you to record sound from another software application, such as your internet browser, into your DAW. Now that we've gone over the presets, we can take a look at our options in the routing section so we can set up our own custom routing. The drop down menu next to each output allows you to select a source to send to that output. You can choose from inputs, which would send a signal from the physical input on your interface straight to the selected output. DAW, which would send a signal from the specified DAW channel to the selected output. Mixes, which would send the signal from the specified mix from within mix control to the selected output. Or off, which will send nothing to that output. Each headphone output will mirror two sets of line outputs. They will be marked by the headphone symbol in mix control. Note that some smaller interfaces may only have one headphone output. On the Sapphire Pro 40, Headphone 1 mirrors line outputs 7 and 8, and Headphone 2 mirrors line outputs 9 and 10. This will differ between interfaces. If you have a Liquid Sapphire 56, your routing section will also incorporate the preamp controls. You can change between the preamp controls and the routing page via the drop-down menu in the top left corner of the routing section. The preamp page allows you to set the preamp emulation and change the configuration for each input.